What's going on y'all? Kevin Reese here today with another video. If you remember I did a previous video in the past, I replaced the brake pads on my Brute Force 650. So today what I'm going to be doing is I still had some issues with it so I'm going to be replacing the actual brake calipers. And you can see I picked these up here. Uh, I got actually two of them for like uh, less than 150 bucks where the dealer wanted OEM, the OEM Nissan calipers that come on it. They wanted like $316 for one caliper. So I picked these up on eBay. I don't really know anything about them. R and C. So you guys, I don't know much about the quality of these, uh, but they're brand new. They came with brake pads already in them. So you can see right here, I got some brake pads. Again, I don't know the quality of these brake pads, but uh, like I said, I was having an issue with them. Um, I got a hold of some bad uh, brake fluid and uh, the the bad brake fluid is really kind of what did me in here jacked up everything so I'm trying I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible for y'all do my best to anyway so go ahead jack this bad boy up so just get it off the ground so we can get the tires up that should be good. All right, you got four 17 millimeter lug nuts. You go ahead and pull those off. And I want to show you all this. Be sure when you pull your lug nuts off, you got a washer behind them. It may stick to the rim, so just make sure that you don't lose that. And here we have our stock factory brake caliper. As you can see, with the newer brake pads from the previous video that I've installed, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. All right, so on your caliper, you've got a 12 millimeter bolt here. You've got a 12 millimeter bolt right here and 12 millimeter banjo nut here for your brake line. So go ahead and take those off and I'm gonna show you all a little bit closer. But what you're gonna need, I've got a ratchet and an extension here. So take your hammer once it's on there You're gonna need that to break that free. So, and I'll show y'all a little closer here what you got. All right, so like I said, if you look right back here, you've got a 12 millimeter here. You've also got a 12 millimeter that's, that's right down. It's hard to see, it's right back here, y'all. Right there. But this cut out here on this swing arm, you can see you can put your extension with your socket right through the back and hit this bottom one and then catch this top one. But it's just two 12 millimeter bolts that hold your caliper on. And like I said, your banjo bolt here, you pulled the brake line off. And uh, this whole caliper with pads and all uh, will come off. And we're just doing a complete swap. So. We'll finish here. So you got your bottom bolt and take it out. So that's it right here, 12 millimeter. And I always keep a bucket so I don't lose anything. So ain't nothing worse than losing bolts and screws. Not being able to finish. You got your top one here. and pull it out all right y'all so once you have those two bolts out like I said this caliper should just come off of here like that so now we are at the step where we're just gonna loosen and it's like I already got it pretty loose so go ahead pull your bolt out So, old caliper, got your washer, you got two washers here, so just be careful, and same thing with your new one, on these brakes you've got a washer here and a washer here on both sides. So whenever I'm done with them, I just screw the whole thing back into the 
caliper itself. And I know I said these were Nissan, but uh, Tokiko, about the same thing. All made overseas. You want to line it up. You can see in between, this is where your rotor is going to go. Pad on each side. So you just pop this on. And like I said, it goes like this. And this bracket sits behind where you bolt, put your bolts in. So you go ahead, pop your bolts back in. So you might have to wiggle this a little bit to get it into place. And I always run these up by hand first before I start tightening them. It's always a good idea to make sure you don't strip anything out. Alright y'all, so both of those are on there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show y'all show how to replace this. So brake line. You need a rag. Just wipe off any dirt. Just down here. You can also use some brake parts cleaner. But uh, it's not it's not too terribly dirty. So Pull this off. Now remember, like I said, you have two washers here. So what you want to do is leave the first washer on, pass this through, your this washer here, place this washer on. And now you go ahead, tighten this up by hand. And then you can go ahead and snug it down. And I don't know the exact torque spec on this. I have my manual, but I always do this stuff by hand just because I've been doing it a while. But you just want to snug that down enough to kind of crush those gaskets so you, it won't leak now again tighten up your bolts here your caliper we had snug those up And same thing here on the back side with your extension. Go ahead and snug it up. Alright, so all this is good and snug now, everything looks good, so there's no obstructions, everything's good, everything's tight. Now, same thing on the next side, the process is going to be exactly the same, so I'm not going to film that. We're on the right side of the machine right now, process will be the same on the other side. 
This should be, uh, I know on my old one, it was a 10 millimeter. This one is an eight millimeter. So keep that in mind if you're going with these. I wanted to show y'all here. These are the calipers. I got them on eBay. There's the price. You can see KVF 650D. Brute Force 650, 05 to 13, 4x4. So I got, like I said, got these on eBay, and this is what they look like. RCH motor is the seller. All right, so this one's on. And this one's on, like I said, same process on this side. Now, the next step is to bleed the brakes. Pull this rubber out with it, because it usually likes to stay down in there. So now, you've got your reservoir. And you see mine looks kind of junky. Like I said, I got a hold of some bad brake fluid and got some moisture in it, because brake fluid is hygroscopic, meaning that it attracts water. And old, I use some really old, cheap brake fluid when I originally did these brakes, which had moisture in it already, I wasn't aware of, and it just jacked my whole system up. So we're gonna flush this out and put some new brake fluid in. Now generally when you bleed brakes, you want to start on the side that's farthest away to get all the air out of the system. So the side the caliper that is farthest away from your reservoir. So on this ATV, it's gonna be this left one here. We'll start with it, and we'll end with the one on the right side. All right, so we got it all done, put back together. The brakes are bled. Now I wanna tell y'all, it was very difficult to do this by yourself with trying to, you know, crack your bleeder screw over here and reach across and squeeze the brake lever is very hard. I did have a buddy help me. You probably want to do that. I want to mention you can, it can be done. You can do it by yourself. Um, there's, they make a, you can get it at AutoZone. I want to say maybe like 40 bucks. It's a, an automatic brake bleeder. So you hook it up to your valve and you pump it up and then crack the valve. And so you can do it by yourself. Now, since I do these brake jobs so infrequently, it's not a tool that I have. So one of the easiest ways to do it, y'all, is just the old tried and true method. Just have a buddy pump the brakes up and you bleed it or vice versa. But that's going to do it for this video. I thank y'all for watching. I tried to make it as quick and as simple as I possibly could. I hope you've liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Mash that like button and drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And I'm Kevin Reese. I'll see you on the next video.